TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 9th of December, 2020. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature a traffic stop, a hit and run, and a welfare check. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. When uh, when she was driving, yeah. and when this occurred, um, I wasn't sure what the damage was. That's why I gave you a call. Um, okay. It's only this thing. Mm -hmm. There's no other damage as far as functioning properly. But we uh, we were going down the interstate, obviously. Mm -hmm. And when it happened, I because the truck just kept on going. So, um, but I, that's when I initiated the call because I wasn't sure how much damage. I had. One of these six for you, trap for that. Um, <laughs> All right, so, and so, like. The, the side of it kind of hit the uh, side of the trailer. Is that kind of what happened? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it yeah. occurred where the where the three lanes reduces down to the two lanes. She was in the, the third lane where they had the the, the, uh, the, the yellow thing 
before she could get over the, yeah. the truck. It, it, it happened so fast. I mean, I know where to go because the He probably didn't kill it. Yeah, that, that's what we figured, yeah. Right. But yeah. like I said, yeah. I saw the plastic flying and I wasn't sure how much, whether he'd sideswipe the car or not. He was driving. I honestly, I was texting my son, letting him know we're on our way. We're going down to, to Georgia for Christmas. Okay. Um, so, I don't, yeah. obviously it's going to be, you know. I'll do a CAD report for insurance purposes. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, driver's license, you were driving me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, registration insurance. Yep, the registration and the insurance are laying there. Okay. But, uh, yeah. You're probably not going to be surprised to hear this, but a lot of our accidents in the south, this is south end of the county, mm -hmm. occur right where you were. Yep. Yeah, I was and looking it up on the Google to try and think. it. And you know, it, 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 <laughs> when it reduces down, nobody wants to let you over. You know? No, they don't. <laughs> some people will. Yeah, some people will just kind of stick to their guns, and if you hit them. You hit them, they don't care. Yeah, and like I said, I was texting my son, and I really wasn't paying attention. If I'd have realized how close she was getting to the end of the road, I'd have told her to start slowing down. When the tractor trailer showed up in front of us, I told her to hit the brakes. Fortunately, we didn't get anything else. That's what matters. Like I said, I'll make note, uh, it'll be CAD report and uh, insurance will be able to get a hold of it and okay. um, have everything they need, all right? Yep, looks like it actually just, we were looking at it, took the, the red trim off of it. Yeah. You know, and I, there's a little tiny light that goes on in the corner here. But yeah. We might not even turn it into the insurance if anyone. If, if the mechanism's not screwed up. Do you have a deductible on your yeah. Yeah, it may be better to pay out of pocket. Sure enough. Yeah, well, like I said, when, when I initiated the call, I had no idea how bad it was. Or, oh, yeah. Or what was going on. So. No, no run, issue. Sorry to run you out. No, no, not at all. Don't be. <laughs> all right. How long you been on the job? Two years. Well, two years. years. Mm -hmm. 33 years in the Hagerstown Fire Department. Okay. Retired, retired as chief a long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> so. I got Keep you. up the good work, partner. I uh, appreciate it. Have a safe drive. Where, where are y'all headed? We're, we're going to stay the night at Statesville, uh, oh just God. north of Charlotte. And then uh, we have a second home 25 miles south of the Atlanta airport in a little town called Sonoy. Okay. If you ever saw The Walking Dead TV yeah. show, yeah. that's where they filmed it. Okay. Uh, they pretty much stopped filming it down there. They're not doing a lot of filming down there now. But we first bought the house with the zombies everywhere. <laughs> Well, they give a huge tax break in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, Georgia, Louisiana, and New Mexico are becoming hotbeds where they're, if they can, film there. Yep. As yep. opposed to LA, because LA is ridiculous. Yeah, there, there is a huge studio just up the road from us in Fayetteville, Pinewood Studio. Mm -hmm. It's supposedly the second largest studio in the world. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you All very right, much sir. for your service, partner. I uh, appreciate it. You're too, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her. Got these new cameras, worked out pretty good. 
I had just started off in settings. That's why I didn't get photos like the one right away. <laughs> you know, says, hey, look. And, you know, realized I hit a vehicle and wasn't able to pull off till I got to Virginia line. That happens sometimes with the, with the 18 wheeler drivers. Um, but they may pull off somewhere else and uh, call it in. And uh, you can sometimes get information there. Otherwise it'll be just chalked up to a, a CAD report, which the insurance company gets um, from our office and that will cover the damage to their vehicle. One fifty six purple. One fifty six There's gonna be minor damage to that vehicle. Break. Okay. Owners advised after they had pulled over and observed the damage that they weren't too concerned, but they wanted police report uh, for insurance purposes. I'll be ten ninety eight. No report. Yeah, Still a report, it's just not a full investigation. Oh, it's just not a full investigation report because they know because there's limited, it's be like I said, limited information. But if somebody, if the guy that hit them realizes they hit them and they just pull off another time and they call in and report, hey, I'm pretty sure I, you know, go ahead, sir. You want me to take that? I'm over at Glenwood Forest, if you want to slide by there. It's just an attempt to look at from a abandoned vehicle in Shenandoah County. Tempor, which address is that? Tempor, you can 22, I'll take 156 Berkeley. I'll take that 260 Goose Run Court call. Incident assigned. Top 156. 156 is an attempt to locate for two vehicles that have been parked in that jurisdiction and go for two days. There's no one around the vehicle. Great. Go ahead. They'd like law enforcement to attempt to make contact with the driver's owners or ping their phones and See if they are, in fact, in that typing area. Your incident has been updated. 104 A28 is provided. That's affirmative. It's going to be West Virginia 6 X ray Romeo 13 Timber. 116 got it. And should we get from here? I'll be around there. Uh, just cross the line there in Westport. Off 11 with this female. Getting by to 707, 707. 260 Goose Run Court. Here it is. 134, Bert, you got a long day. Pending incident. Copy 134. Starting route to 260 Goose Run Court. Bert, 156. In two miles, turn left onto Hatchard Road. We did just receive the teletype. From that agency, reference to a request. The subject's names are going to be a Melinda Hall or a Timothy Hall that you're trying to make contact with. Our incident has been 10-4, what's that agency sister of that? They're just trying to find out why the vehicle has been parked there and make sure they're not out hiking in trouble somewhere.
Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, um, do you know Timothy Hall? Yeah, that's my husband. Okay. Is he was he did he go hiking in uh Virginia in Shenandoah County? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Um so somebody called in two vehicles that are uh, hanging out there and they've been there for two days. They're just one oh, uh, okay. make sure they're okay. Have you had contact with him today or I haven't, no, because he's out of range. Um hey, hey, let me come she's would come out and just smell you. Um he um no, he left yesterday morning and then he's supposed to be back today at some point. Okay. Um, I'm, your I'm trying to think the last time I heard from him was yesterday evening. Sorry. Yeah. Some somebody was just concerned because the vehicles have been there for a minute, but if he's out hiking doing overnight trip, I understand. Was, um, yeah, yesterday afternoon at two thirty. So um yeah, I mean so they were just going up just a couple miles, I think, and it was it's him and his brother in law. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all they told me. I'm kind of feel bad that you're probably okay. worried now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, as soon as I saw the car coming down the driveway, I was like, what in the world is going on? So, yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's two of them together, he and my brother in law. So, I would assume if something was up, one of them would have tried to reach out somehow. So, yeah. And I know, because I'm from that area, I know firsthand that. Oh, you are? Yeah. I, I know the area, the, or I know the cell service down there can be hard to get. Yeah, so. because actually, because yeah. the, um, the text that I got, or the, yeah, it didn't come through as an iMessage, it came through as a text, so I know it's the, uh, yeah, uh, cell reception is sketchy, yeah. so. I gotcha. Okay. All right, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they didn't, Shenandoah County, I guess, got a call from probably somebody out there. Okay. And, uh, they just wanted to see if they could have, uh, us make contact with you. Okay. To see if you can try to get in contact with them to make sure they're okay. Okay. And to make sure there's, you know, nothing. Yeah, well, should I, let me try calling them. I don't think I'll be able to get through if they're still up on the mountain, but. Yeah, so my daughter's supposed to be on the way here and he's hiking and I saw the car come down the driveway. I was like, oh great, that is not a good thing. <laughs> so when you heard somebody from somebody, it was just a, just a little bit ago? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I, I actually did think they were gonna be off the mountain by then, but just cause it's so Hey, Cindy, it's Mindy. Hey, have you heard from Tim or Steve yet? Okay, okay. Um, because somebody in that county reported their vehicles. So the Sheriff's Department is here just checking to make sure everything's okay because the vehicles have been there for two days. So, okay, I just tried calling. Okay, okay, that was the last I had heard too. Okay, well, if I hear of anything, I'll let you know. <laughs> so if you if you hear from them, from like if you hear from Steve, let me know. And I'll let you know. So you're right that way. Okay. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. No, actually, she hasn't heard anything either. So, um, yeah. So I guess I don't know. What do we do from here? Do we just do we let you guys know? Like once we hear from them? Um, I guess you can. I'll notify dispatch of what's going on. Some people get, you know, there's not, they probably just nosy and maybe, you know, concerned, which ain't always a bad thing, but right, they probably, sure. they probably just saw it and yeah. And we're like, well, got yeah. a little concerned and you know, right. Well, and it was reported it cold as crap last night. I think they're crazy myself, but <laughs> that's yeah, <why> I'm, <laughs> I'm an outdoorsy person and I probably wouldn't out hiking right now no well hiking yes hiking overnight no yeah no they were <laughs> testing out all their new gear so oh yeah, yeah. no I, under, yeah, so. I understand that okay. actually actually today would be a great day for hiking i know right it's now just it's cold beautiful yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah all okay. right well then i guess what i'll do That's if awesome. i hear from either one of them maybe i'll just call into the sheriff's department and just say hey we you know we heard from them oh, yeah. yeah sorry the radio no it's okay <laughs> all right i'll let dispatch know so they can get a hold of Shenandoah City. Okay. Like okay. So they're not worried. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Great. Thank All right. You. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to give them your number so they they may contact you just if they have any questions for you or okay. anything like that. All right. Okay. Great. All right. Thank yes, ma'am. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm jealous. They got like a rack in the back for canoes and kayaks. Like I said, I like doing outdoors. 